Hey, Dave, it's Zoo from United Tower. Hey, Sid. Hey, did you see a flying disc out by C-17? Oh, uh, I don't even start, Sue. So. No, <laughs> Fly, you're seeing flying discs. Well, that's what the pilot and the ramp guys are telling us. The C-17, they saw some flying disc above, and we can't see Come above on, us. Come on, Sue. You didn't see it, right? Yeah, hey, you guys been celebrating the holidays already on there or what? You having a Christmas party today? I have not seen anything, Sue. And if I did, I wouldn't admit to it. No, I have not seen any flying disc at Gate C7. Unless you got a new aircraft you're uh, bringing out today that we don't know about. No, I have not seen anything, Sue. All right. If I do, I uh, I don't know what I'll do. If I see it, I'll, I guess I'll back it up with you. But no, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. All right, bye. All right, then. Uh, I heard Tower Dwight. Dwight. Yes. What happened to Dave? Did he have to take a break because I called him? No. <laughs> this is Sue from United. Yes. There, there was a disc out there flying around. There was a what? A disc. A disc? Can, yeah. can you hang on one second? Sure, do I. Okay, I'm sorry. What uh, What can I do for you now? I, uh, all right. There was, I told Dave there was a disc flying outside above Charlie 17, and he thought I was pretty much high. But um, I'm not high, and I'm not drinking. Yeah. Someone actually has a picture of it, so if you guys see it out there. A disc. Like a frisbee? Like a UFO type thing. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I have a picture of something. Like, how, how high above Charlie 17? Well, it was above our tower. So, uh -huh. if you happen to see him, say... You know what? I'll, I'll keep a peeled eye for that. All right. Okay. Thank you, bye. Tower cab, this is Dave. Hey, Dave, I'm driving at United ABC. Yeah, right. I have an interesting one for you, Dave. Some of our employees, I don't know if you heard anything about this, um, some of our pilots on the ground were reporting a UFO sighting at a thousand feet from the sea side of the airport. Did you guys do anything about that? You this? know what? The ramp tower called me, I want to say about 10, 15 minutes ago. We have not seen anything up there. Okay. Because uh, she said it was right around gate C-17. Okay. But, uh, I mean, and since she called, I've been looking, but we have not seen anything. Okay. Uh, you know, I mean, uh... If we do, oh well, well, I guess. You know. well, well, no, I'm just wondering. Maybe, yeah. we'll have to, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll have to give him the C-7 right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Either that or you, know, you guys unveiled a brand new aircraft that I didn't tell anybody about. I know, I know. But, uh, no, we have not seen anything, but we will uh, surely keep an eye out, that's for sure. Thank you very much. No problems. Bye. United Maintenance 44. Okay, it's 44. Thank you. Right. 44 is going around the north port. Excellent. Uh, you got Eagle and SkyWest over here that. coming around this way. He's turning in. No factory. We got no other gate holes. All right. Somebody reported a UFO or a flying disc above Charlie Tank. Seriously. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so nobody can, eyes, nobody can see it, but use caution. All right. Um, and <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Gateway 5668. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, look out your window. Do you see anything above United Concourse? They actually, believe it or not, they called us and said there's a, somebody observed a flying disc about a thousand feet above the uh, Gate Charlie 17. Do you see anything over there? Not that I can tell. Okay. Yeah, I thought my job was stressful. <laughs> uh, we saw it a half hour ago. Who saw it? whole bunch of us over at the uh, Charlie Concourse. Really? You guys did? Who's this? It was definitely not my imagination. Joe is a mechanic for United Airlines. While taxiing a jumbo jet to the hangar, he and another mechanic looked out the window in the general direction and noticed an object up in the sky, um, dark gray object sitting above the terminal complex. Joe, which is not his real name, is one of several airport workers, some of whom have talked to the Chicago Tribune, who say they saw a saucer-shaped UFO hovering just beneath the clouds at the airport. He's the first to go on camera to talk about it since this happened several weeks ago. He wants to remain anonymous. But you're sure it was some kind of object that normally would not be above O'Hare Airport? I've been at O'Hare for quite some time, and let's just say that I've never seen an object in my time there that looked like this. And I'll tell you definitely, it was not an airplane as we know it. But it could be an airplane as another world knows it. Possibly. We brought in one of Chicago's top sketch artists. Followed the contours of, of the object. To listen to Joe and draw a picture of what he says he saw. More of like an oval. Dark gray oval. Because no photos have surfaced, and Joe doesn't know of any. Now, it didn't say Goodyear on it, did it? No Goodyear, no. That's a really good drawing. Is that what it looks like? Very much so, yeah. Other witnesses told an organization called the National UFO Reporting Center that the object eventually shot straight up in the sky at a great rate of speed. It looked like literally someone had poked a hole in the clouds. 
It's the round hole. Joe thinks the disc is either a stealthy military project or a spacecraft from another planet, but... I find it very strange or very peculiar that somebody who possesses the technology to travel between star systems would sit over an airport in Chicago. Oh, hey, here's John. Hey, John. Hey, Jim, how are you? Well, fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Busy with this UFO oh, stuff. Oh, my God. Did you see it hit the Fox crawl uh, Monday night? Did it? It's just yes. been everywhere. I mean, I've been on CNN. Um, I did my fourth appearance today. Really? Uh, every MSNBC, every network. Oh, my goodness. And just worldwide. I mean, yeah. know, Australia, everywhere. <laughs> That's what we're going to start off, I'm going to say. And John, the response has been, well, out of this world, hasn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. That's, so where's the latest on the investigation of the FAA, then? Well, uh, is, is by this time tomorrow going to prove a Yeah, you, lot. United is now acknowledging that they were approached by employees. Mm -hmm. So they've done that okay. flip-flop. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to locate photos of this. I'm told there may be oh, photos. really? Wow. That would be cool. So is the possible, does it possibly exist? You might get the pictures and get them in for tomorrow? Or oh, no, I, I don't think. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm told the pilots on that plane that was being pushed back, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I said in the story that they opened the windscreen and stuck their head out. Now I'm being told that one of them had a digital camera and snapped some pictures. Wow. So United is not playing ball with me. And uh, FAA, I've expanded my FOIA to include the flight plan, which might include the pilots' names. And I'm trying to work with the union as well. Are they still going by weather phenomenon? Uh, FAA, you know, pretty much because of the federal holiday, I, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't talked to them that much. But yeah, they they haven't changed their story, mm -hmm. and it's I've just they heard, have, heard yeah. from other people, you know, since then that you know that that's that explanation just doesn't wash. And they haven't gone out of their way to to say anything otherwise so far. No, I mean they say you know it was it was November seventh. They're they're moving on. They're just doing their daily thing. Well, I tell you what, the uh, all the people who saw it must be being a little validated right about now, huh? Oh yeah, and I'm getting tons of emails from other people who outside the airport as well as at O'Hare really? who also either sighted that same object or saw the hole in the sky and said, "What is that?" Wow. Okay, so what did it look like again to the folks who saw it? It was a saucer-like yeah, object it was hovering over, over the United Terminal, right? Yeah, right over, directly over gate C-17. Mm -hmm. and it was stationary in the sky, uh, dark gray metallic, uh, you know, like I say, saucer-shaped, mm -hmm. no lights, and it was there for some minutes. And then when it uh, disappeared, it just streaked through the clouds with such energy that it broke a, a big a blue hole in the overcast, and the hole wow. remained there for several minutes until the wind... Uh, drifted and pushed the clouds back together. So the blue was the sky. Yeah, the blue was wow. the sky, but but otherwise the the entire skyline was uh was cloudy. Totally overcast, huh? Man. So totally you know, it's nothing an airplane just doesn't react like that. It does mm. it slices mm. through and it doesn't disturb the atmosphere. Hmm. Do you have any other interviews set up after this, John? Yeah, I'm going back on uh, a radio station, a couple of radio stations this afternoon, and then uh, Headline News uh, has a show I'm doing at 3 o'clock. Okay. Ooh, I'll have to watch if I'm... Yeah, I'll be off the set yeah. by then. Um, okay, Australia, what, what other international... Oh my God! I mean, I mean, all over Europe. Oh my gosh! Um, really? You know, hearing from people, you know, Ireland. They say, you know, we, we heard about what's happening at O'Hara. Ah, <laughs> I mean, Butch O'Hara. <laughs> I mean, just as well wow. as serious, you know, uh, researchers at major U.S. universities who've attempted to do their own investigations, and when they go to the government to try to get information, uh, they get stonewalled. So there really is this universal feeling that the government knows a lot more than it's willing to tell. Man, okay. Okay. I'm just going to say, you know, okay, here we go. But I am so, it's, I think it's so cool that I was the first one to get to talk to you about it. <laughs> That's right, last Friday. <laughs> Yay. Okay. 
The UFO hair story the Chicago Tribune exclusively broke on New Year's Day is garnering attention around the world. Joining us now to talk about it once again is Tribune transportation writer John Hilkovich, who wrote the story. And John, the response has been, well, out of this world, hasn't it? Yes, it has been astronomical, Jim. Uh, every major country, it seems, people have written in. Uh, both those who claims they've uh, spotted UFOs during their life as well as serious researchers. I mean, just the last two days, this oh. is my email. And these are the serious emails, uh, you know, the ones from kooks who said they were brought aboard alien spacecraft I put in a circular file. So it's wow. just a story that has legs, and people are fascinated by the thought, and I think there's some belief that there are advanced life forms that are visiting us here on a regular basis. You've been contacted now in the last few days by several countries, but that also includes serious university researchers here in the U.S. You know, I've got to tell you, too, I got a call from my dad in California Monday night, and he's like, what is up with the O'Hare UFO story? I'm like, where did you see that? Where did you read that? Well, it was on Fox Network's crawl mm -hmm. at the bottom. It's just amazing how much this is garnering. Yeah, it really is, and uh, worldwide uh, attention, as you say, and uh, from people who have observed, made observations themselves, including on November 7th, the date of this incident, uh, mm -hmm. uh, additional people both at O'Hare and outside the airport who have either seen this gray, disc-shaped metallic object themselves, mm -hmm. or they saw that huge hole in the sky that, that the object created when it vanished. Let's go over that one more time. What did people see when it all of a sudden vanished right through the, the clouds over the United Terminal, and then how's the FAA been reacting uh, the past few days to any, any new ground on that? Okay. Well, the object was hovering in a stationary position about 1,500 feet above the United Terminal for some minutes, and then when it left, it just burst through this uh, thick cloud layer, uh, creating a, a large open space of, of blue sky on an otherwise overcast day. Uh, it took some minutes for that uh, opening to close up when the clouds drifted back together. And it's just extremely unusual, according to the witnesses. I mean, airplanes just don't react like this. They slice through clouds, and they really don't disturb the atmosphere that much, except for the wingtips and such. Mm -hmm. uh, the FAA is still, uh, you know, pinning this to a, uh, a, some kind of weather phenomenon, that some lights from the airport and the overcast skies somehow got together and created this image. But uh, weather experts, uh, ast astronomy experts, others that I've talked to said that that's, uh, that's bunk. Uh, <laughs> a, that's, that explanation just doesn't wash. United, on the other hand, uh, if, after first denying that they got any reports from employees about this sighting, is now saying, uh, yes, indeed, their employees did approach them immediately because mm -hmm. of concerns about safety. And to reiterate, John, the witnesses who originally came to you are all seasoned, professional, credible professionals like pilots who saw this. They're this pilots, thing. they're senior managers, they're mechanics and, and others. So, uh, you know, they are, they are very truthful <laughs> about what they're saying, and we're trying to locate photographs if they do exist of this incident. Well, John, we know you have plenty of other interviews to do today with other countries, so we'll let you go and we'll keep our eyes to the sky. Thanks. Thank you, Jim. Uh, this is just incredible. It's, isn't it amazing what, what really garners people's... Yeah. For, for various reasons, I suppose, you know. Yeah. How cool. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, I can't wait to see in a week where this stands, you know? Yeah. I'm just amazed I'm still getting requests for interviews because... Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay, thanks, John. Thanks, Jim. Well, the, uh, the most credible part is that uh, pilots, numerous pilots, including the two pilots of, uh, at C-17, opened their windows and peered out the cockpit and both saw in great detail, uh, you know, what, what they, you know, perceived to be a UFO. And uh, they said it couldn't have been a light show. It could not have been a weather phenomenon, as the FAA later uh, said it must have been. And uh, I have documentation uh, between uh, United Airlines managers to their bosses saying we've received reports of this from our employees. What do we do? Some of these employees were brought in, interviewed, even uh, asked to draw sketches of what they saw. Yeah. So what's equally important is not just the, the, the caliber of these witnesses, but uh, the Tribune's ability to document, uh, for better, no better word, a cover-up by both United Airlines and the FAA, because when I went to both parties, they flatly said they knew nothing about this, that my call was the first information they received. And in fact, I have correspondence that shows that they clearly were told about it and uh, communicated internally and externally about it. And so what is the... Uh
Does, is there anything that blows a hole in this thing? Well, what blows a hole in this theory is that no air traffic controller saw it, uh, that nobody with a camera phone at O'Hare happened to stamp a picture of this, and, uh, you know, this, uh, this spaceship, if it was so, uh, is, is long gone.